Hi, I'm Eric Strubble. I'm the designer of the Alyssa sunglasses. I designed them for traps I wear in Maine. The Ulysses is a classic interpretation of an oversized pair of sunglasses. Very traditional, very male. Designing these sunglasses follows a pretty traditional technique. Sketching, resketching, doing it on paper, going back and forth in the computer, and refining the details a little bit every time to get everything just right. Doing this process on a tablet allows me to do things like mirror from right to left, uh, things that I couldn't do on a piece of paper. It's just so much more efficient, so much faster. In the old days, you would have had to use a photocopier, um, take a piece of paper, you know, flip it, glue it down to your piece of paper and see what it looked like. But in this case, it allows me to quickly visualize the frames and move on to the next phase, which is modeling it in the computer. Modeling the sunglasses in the computer allows me to quickly make changes to things like color, texture, materials, and see them instantly. Something that used to take a long time or you'd have to make a lot of models of or a lot of renderings of. In the computer, you can do these photorealistic renderings and get instant results and see what your product's going to look like way before a model's made. Another advantage to computer-aided design is that I can take that data and I can output it and have a rapid prototype made. So just because we're using traditional materials like recycled oak lobster traps and acetate frames, that doesn't mean we have to do it the old-fashioned way. I cut out the temples on a bandsaw and then I steam bend them to form them into the shape that I want, and I cross drill little slots for the hinges. And here I'm just finishing them, putting on a little bit of linseed oil to bring out the grain before they get mounted to the frame. Temple hinges are epoxied into the frame and let to set and you have a nice pair of prototype wearable trap sunglasses. That's a sneak peek of me designing in my studio and building some prototypes in the shop. Subscribe to my YouTube page and follow me on Twitter. I want to give a quick shout out to my good friend Ted for creating the song that you hear in this video, The Midnight Liar. You can check out his stuff on his Reverb Nation page. There's a link below in the notes. Rock on.